So LeBron James is injured and clearly not in his prime. Anthony Davis, again, constantly injured. And while he's starting to play okay, is still not in his prime. And Russell Westbrook definitely is not in his prime. So the Lakers are terrible. The Lakers are probably the worst team in the NBA right now, especially with LeBron James injured. They are genuinely, genuinely are terrible. So what I have done right here is I have put all three of the big three back into their primes. So for Russell Westbrook, obviously we've chose MVP 2016-2017 Russell Westbrook. For Anthony Davis, we went with New Orleans Anthony Davis. Now his last couple of years where he was an MVP candidate. For LeBron, you can go offensive peak in like 2018. You can go athletic peak in his first run in Cleveland at the end. Or you can go for what I went for, Miami Heat LeBron. The better defender of all the LeBrons, the, when he was at his peak on defense, when he was at his peak in terms of shooting, and dude nearly won a defensive player of the year and was one vote off unanimous you know, MVP, while winning finals MVP and getting a triple-double NBA Finals Game 7. I don't care that he came back from 3-1 down in 2016. Miami LeBron is prime LeBron. But LeBron's in 99, Westbrook's in 95, and Davis is in 94. So with these three guys right here, can these guys save the Lakers? Like, we've got nothing. We've got nothing else. Like, there's absolutely... I, I can't even think of a trade that you can make to make the Lakers good other than those guys. Okay, so after a little bit of a shaky start, I'm not gonna... Probably not gonna trade Lonnie Walk. This is a really good trade. This is a really good trade. I am taking this trade. I'm taking Pokashevsky instead of Lonnie Walker because he gives me Mike Muscala, which is a better backup center than we have. That makes our team slightly better. I mean, the fact that Patrick Beverly is like our backup point guard is tough. Okay, at least these three guys in their prime are winning some games. That's all you can ask for. At least these guys are winning a couple of games here. Yes, I don't even care if we don't have a backup point guard. I'll give up my 2027 first round pick to get KCP back. As you know, KCP did help the team win a ring. All right. All right, at least these three guys in their prime are hooping a little bit. Like 18 and 2 to start the year. Like that should, that should be enough to like, at least, that should be a good enough start to the one seed anyway. Okay, Max Struess there for Thomas Bryant. No brainer. Absolute no brainer. I know we got a lot of two guards, but still, no brainer. This is a no brainer as well. For a one year, for a one year deal, I got it. We're taking on Joe Harris's salary. I couldn't care less. This is to see how we can get on for one year. We'll take on as much salary as we need. We'll trade any of the picks we need. This is all about, this is one and bust. If if the Lakers can't win with these guys, it is a bust year. This is an these are all win now moves. And win this year because, well, this is the last year. This is the last dance. Or technically the first dance of this team. But it's also the last dance. So we're not gonna be making any moves for the future. We're just gonna literally be signing the guys for the highest overall. Like, why would we ever make that trade? And again, this is one where I gotta take it. I gotta take the bowl bowl offer. 79 overall bowl bowl. He's ball. He's balling right now. He is balling right now. In fairness to him, he is balling right there now. So I don't really care about the trade deadline at this stage. Forty-five and twelve. That is a worse record than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. NBA standings: five games ahead of the Pelicans, the best team in the NBA. Season stats. Let's see who's doing well. LeBron averaging twenty-seven, eight and ten. He might. He might challenge Luca for that MVP. I'm not gonna lie. And 28 and 9, nearly a triple double there for Westbrook, and then 22 points here for AD. TJ Warren with 11, Max Struess with 10, Bull Bull playing a little bit. We're doing all right. We're, the, the team's doing okay. The team's doing as expected. First seed. When you've got three of the top 75 players, although Anthony Davis being there with Dwight Howard was an absolutely just crazy. Anthony Davis being there with Dwight Howard and Lillard being there with Tony Parker was just absolutely mind boggling for me. But, um, they're still three in the top 75. Westbrook 1,000% deserved his spot there, but Davis, yeah, not a hope. So 60, well over 60 wins anyway. 65, 66, and 16. That's that's around what was expected, I guess. Darvin Ham obviously winning coach of the year. LeBron making on be a first team, could not win MVP. Davis making second team, and Westbrook not making a team. But he made the all-defensive first team alongside LeBron James. With Anthony Davis and Zach team. So they all made all defensive teams. Two of them made all NBA teams. All right, now this is where you get stuff. So they're playing the OKC Thunder, who, 
Are they not normally in tank for victor mode in this game? I could have swore the OKC Thunder are normally in tank for victor mode. They took two games off us. Like, Shea Gills Alexander hooping. They normally want to trade loot or. But uh, Anthony Davis actually chipping out big points. Westbrook with a triple double, but only 14. Which was not great right there. We are facing the Phoenix Suns, who shouldn't have a chance against this Lakers team. Nope, easy one. Honestly, I would rather face... I was about to say I'd rather face the Warriors and the Pelicans. But the Pelicans are going to be tough with Zion Williamson. It's a sweep as well. Oh my god, lads. Oh my god. LeBron James. 36 and 10. Facing the Boston Celtics. It's the Lakers Celtics NBA Finals. And the Celtics take a 2 1 lead. It's 2 all. The Lakers go 3 2 up. Is that it? Oh my god, it's a big lead to start the game. Alright, yeah, this is a blowout. This is an absolute blowout. This is a blowout right here. I thought, I genuinely thought the Celtics might have, like, pulled it out of the bag. I thought the Celtics could have pulled that one out of the bag. But it does appear that, especially with the decisions I made around them. Like, TJ Warren's on the floor. He's hooping as well. Like, I, I, I would say this is a much more competent supporting cast than Pat Beverly and those guys. But LeBron James dribbling it down. They've still got Horford, the Celtics. Obviously, obviously Westbrook is still out there. LeBron wearing number 43 for some reason. I have no idea. LeBron will wear random numbers. When you, whenever you put the LeBron, the Miami LeBron in any team because he can't wear six, the guy will wear random numbers. I'm not even joking. He will wear 41, 43. I've seen him wear 50 before. He will just pick a random number and wear. He'll never wear 23. But to be fair, like, Davis wears 23. But he just... It's just random numbers. It's just random numbers. But a 21-point Game 6 win... Was kind of hoping this was going to go down to the wire or at least go to a game seven to make things interesting. But the Los Angeles Lakers have the NBA championship completely sewn up. The Lakers winning it all. Darvin Ham winning a ring in his first year. Bowl Bowl getting his ring. Matt Ryan getting his ring because I don't think we traded Matt Ryan. Well, that's Bowl Bowl got his first ring, which might be the most important thing. So let's see, I guess, I'm guessing LeBron James finals MVP. It's more likely than not that LeBron is finals MVP. Because, well, who else is going to win it? Westbrook? Hardly. Can't even see Bull Bull right here, he's that tall. So Darvin Ham, first year head coach, first year ring for him. Which, again, is pretty nice for him. And it is wearing the f number 43. Two less than MJ when he came back. LeBron James winning MVP. Finals MVP. Prime LeBron James. Just like he did in 2013 at his actual peak. He won a finals MVP. He's going to win one again right here. So, yeah, LeBron averaging only 24, 8, and 11. Like, 24 is a little bit lower than I expected in terms of his points output. But yeah, that is what happened. Somehow the OKC Thunder took two games off them. A team that didn't win as many games as I thought in the regular season ended up performing in the playoffs. The Lakers with their big three in their primes. Because let's be real, none of Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, or LeBron James are in their primes right now. But the three of them in their primes, at least according to 2K, they would win an NBA championship. With a GM that's going to accept some a lot of trades to uh, make that supporting cast a hell of a lot better than it is in real life as well. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.